Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5google.com and this is a quick video to show you how to beam your Android phone or tablet screen onto your Mac. So the first thing you're going to need is an app called Reflector 2. I'll leave a link to that app in the description box. It's not on the Mac App Store. You do have to download it from a browser, but it's free to download and trial. But if you want to buy it and or buy a license for it, it's going to cost you $14.99. Now, once you have this app installed and you've opened it, you can head to your phone. Now, I use this on two different devices. I used Android M stock, the developer preview on the Nexus 6. But this is pretty much the same way as what you're going to see on Lollipop. If you drop down the notification drawer, you'll see Cast as an option in the toggle list. Now in the LG G4, because of its custom software, I had to add it to my list of toggles. So I went to my drop down menu, hit edit and chose Miracast. Now if you don't have this option on your Android phone to cast natively, you can download the Google Chromecast app from the Play Store and that should enable this to work as well. I'll include a link to that in the description box too. Now once you've selected that, your home screen from your phone will just appear on your desktop, on your Mac. And audio beams across too, so if you're playing a game or watching videos, you'll get that audio through your computer speakers or anything that's connected to your computer as external speakers, for instance. What I really liked about this app as well was that you can rotate your phone and the program shows the rotated view on the desktop. So now anything and everything you do on your phone will be shown on your desktop screen. But you can change the quality and choose to do different things with it as well. If you dig into the settings, you can have it show in full screen using a full color or a desktop wallpaper as a background, or you can have it as the default just showing as a floating window on top of your desktop. If you want to, you can actually record what's on the screen as well. So anything that you do with the phone, you can then record. Now, if you do choose to record, it does replace whatever's behind the virtual Nexus with a solid color. Now, of course, you can change lots of different settings as well. So with the recording setting, you can choose to have it record in 4K or 1080p or 720 or 480p. Now, of course, you can actually change the settings of what's being beamed onto your Mac as well. So you can change the resolution of the image or the mirrored image on the Nexus. Like I said, I will leave a link to this app in the description box. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. I'll see you again soon.